Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you about Cabbage Patch Kids. So, I had my first one when I was about, I don't know, three or four. And it was actually a hand-me-down. So Cabbage Patch Kids came out in 1982. Well, the store ones, the ones with the hard vinyl heads and the soft bodies. And obviously I wasn't born at that time. My mom and my aunt had them, not the first year they came out, maybe a few years later, when, you know, the hysteria and the craziness died down a little bit. They were able to have them. They were older. They weren't like, you know, young kids who were still playing with dolls. They were in their teens at this point. Um, so that's where mine came from. It was a hand-me-down. I actually had two. So my aunt is, like me, darker skin, darker hair, darker eyes. So she had the one that looked like her, and my mom is very fair skinned she had green eyes and blonde hair and that's the cabbage patch that she had the same color hair and eyes so I ended up with both of them well I took more towards the one with the darker hair so this would have been my aunt's um, I do not have my childhood dolls I couldn't tell you what happened to them but when I got back into collecting I really really wanted a cabbage patch kid and I wanted the one that you know was the one that I had when I was little so I ended up finding her on eBay, and I spent less than $30 on it, complete with everything. Original birth certificate, fully dressed in its original clothes. I want to show you guys. That's Bertie Carlotta. That's her name, which is also really cute because not only does she look like me, but she, her name also starts with a B, as does Mayan. My name is not Birdie, thank goodness. Here's her original romper that she came with. And her little jacket, little booties. Her hair is, I'm pretty sure, still an original factory braid. Now, I'm not sure if it had, like, another white bow up here, as it did on the bottom. She has one little tooth. I don't think Mayan had a tooth when I was little. Um, and I remember getting her in the mail, and I was so excited. And it just brought back so much nostalgia and happiness. And even holding her nail, it feels like peacefulness, you know? Just a happy feeling. I'm going to show you the things that she came with. This is her. They had hand tags, like it would go here on her wrist. And they came with little secrets. And this one says, Sometimes big dogs scare me, and before too long, you'll know everything about me. And I even have the original envelope that she came with. Oh, and I forgot to mention, she is from 1985. So it's probably about the same year that Mayan was. And here is her paperwork. There is her birth certificate that says, this certifies that Bertie Carlotta was born in the Cabbage Patch on October 1st. And October happens to also be my favorite month and my favorite season. And underneath, I didn't fill it out. I don't think I want to. I don't want to ruin the paper, but there is her oath of adoption. And her little footprints on the back. Now, this was also still at the time when you could fill out your adoption certificate and mail it to um, Babyland General, and they would send you back like a more official looking birth certificate. Now she also has this sticker on her jacket that says Babyland General Hospital Visitor. And if you look at the date, that is the date that I actually went all the way to Georgia. So it was like a 13 hour drive. I went there just to go to Babyland and I brought her with me and I made sure that I got a sticker for her. And um, an extra one. And, you know, just pictures and extra stuff because I also scrapbook. So I'm going to be put, making a special page just for 
me and Birdie, and I did end up getting another doll there, which I will show you later on my channel. And I'm going to have to find a way to upload my video that I took at Babyland. But I just wanted to show you my first Cabbage Patch, Birdie Carlotta. Isn't she so cute? Look at that little face. Oh, she is adorable. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a good day.